Alrighty, guys, for your Ron Sees America fans, this is the cliff that Ron's talking about, the embankment, that we've been arguing about since we came down. Not really arguing. He thinks we can go an easier route. I think we have to go the harder route. I'm going to go up it to prove to him that I can get up it. So let's carry on. All right, here we go. Come and take a ride with Ron Sees America. Can climb the, the mountain. Look at him, there he is. Look at that ram following up. He's got his whole harem with him. They're all sitting there, standing there together, looking at us. You guys see that? <coughs> Do you know they can even stampede sort of like along that rock? They can run full out along that stuff. As if they were on even ground. Well, we have to keep walking if we're going to get to the spring and get to get back to the car before it gets dark. But that's pretty neat right there. You see those. Mountain goats, right there on the side. There is a total of, it looks like five of them. There's one back behind we don't see. They're just chilling with you. They're just watching us. That's probably what's leaving this. Uh, Look at the big boulder up there. I don't know if y'all can see them, but they're looking right at us. You see them right there. They need to move because we want to be in the creek bed. Okay, that's it for now. We'll watch these. Oops.
quick. How are you doing today? Hope all is well. Hello to the four that are watching me home. Right, don't forget, share this video out. Let's get some good work. But I highly don't recommend you doing this hike if you're out of shape, if you don't like walking in the sand, because this place is covered with it. Um, so there's some areas that are all gravel, but 99.99999% of it is all sand. That's almost all sand. Oh, and who do we hear back here? Say hi. Hey, hey everybody, how you doing? Yeah, so Ron T's America and myself, we got Claire all hanging out around the campfire and we said, let's go do something fun today. So check out this, you know, the walk that we're down in. It's beautiful. Beautiful embankment. Beautiful things to see. Um, definitely take your breath away. I mean, wait till you see some of these spots walking back this way. Like standing. You can see a cave. Um, when you get up close to the natural rock formation, it's quite a little music. And I have to say, they are quite lovely to look at. But it's great exercise. I would have to say we walked what two maybe three miles back to the hot spring yeah i don't i don't know it seemed like a long way but it yeah. probably wasn't quite that long depending upon what pace you want to hike this at is the pace that you're going to get to uh, walk back there so guys i think we're going to go live until we get back and then maybe we'll raid somebody on the way in because I don't know how long it's really going to take us. It's a beautiful red color wall. It's so pretty up here. So good. But, to the view, to the pipe, pack lots of water. Did you have to stop for a minute? You didn't take a break and grab a drink. Like me. May I have some water, please? No, the other bottle? No. Uh, where is it? Where's my... Oh, it's in the other... It's right here. Okay. Life-saving water. Ah. Look how the water... This is the last time the creek come through here, how it cut through underneath there. And it will probably continue to cut through there until... This ledge falls down and makes another pile of rock, like you see out here. That will take a very long time, and none of us seeing it here, or any of you seeing it on this video, will ever see that fall, because it will take thousands of years with the water chipping away at the under, at that under burden right there. But eventually that whole hillside will collapse down. But again, none of us alive will ever see that. Things take place out here in geologic time scales, which are millions of years. And it took millions of years to cut this creek bed for this creek, to cut this creek bed all the way through those mountains. And the water will be coming down towards us from this direction. Flash flood had come ripping down through here. You can see the last time it rained, the ground is still wet in places here. The water, water came through here. If you dig about 10 inches below the surface here, you'll get to the water table where there's water flowing down this creek underground. But it's flowing through the sand and it's not like a cavern or anything. It flows through the sand and gravity takes it gradually down river through the grains of sand and rock. As you can see the water 
has eaten its way down through the rock for millennia to get to a level it's at now. You can see the little areas damp. The water just beneath the surface, and as you saw back there, they, the animals would dig these little holes to get down to the water table until the water pools up and they'll drink the water out of those, out of those pools in the bottom of the hole they dig. Pretty uh, handy way to get water out here in a place that's mostly dry. So I think if we go to that road track over there, we'll go up by and we'll end up by the van. It looks a little less steep going this way than it does that way. Going uh going to that track right there and going up there. Alrighty guys, for your Ron sees America fans. This is the cliff that Ron's talking about, the embankment, that we've been arguing about since we came down. I'm not really arguing. He thinks we can go an easier route. I think we have to go the harder route. I'm gonna go up it to prove to him that I can get up it, so let's carry on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna follow, uh, try to follow her steps. We're just grabbing these footholds on the way up. You wouldn't want that one to come out from under your foot, the one I just stepped on, because that would not be good. We pause as she thinks about it, as she considers her path. We pause. See, foot right there. And as easy as that, we're nearly to the top. She considers the last few sure foot footings to make sure they're gonna hold. I'm gonna go around this way. It's a little tiny wash. It's pretty steep, but it gets us back up to the parking lot level and we gotta walk around, but Woo. That was rough. Destination's delight. Woo. You'll know you're at this hike. When you see these double bridges, you'll most likely cross them first, and then you'll find the exit, I mean the, the turn off for the parking lot. You see my car way over there. But you'll, it'll be on the right, right after the end of the bridge going in that direction. Don't ask me, I think it's north or west, I'm not sure. There's my car. This was a nice workout. My heartbeat is 122 beats per minute. That's good, get the heart rate right up and get some good exercise. That was a good hike. So far we've walked 1.11 of a mile. Okay, 1.11. So one mile, just a little over 
over a mile and a half, I want to say, back to, from the hot spring back to Yeah, because she didn't start the, the timer on the Until walk. We got to the rocks. So probably a one and a half miles total walk from the car. We got to come around to this side of the ravine and walk down this creek bed for a total of a mile and a half there and a mile and a half back. That's a total of a three mile hike. I'd say that's pretty good. And we got this last little incline that we got to get over right here. And then we can walk around and walk back to the car and put it in the wind, knock the sweat off of us. Yeah, we're sweating. We're sweating. It was a little warm. Probably mid, about 65. I would not want to move on a hot coffee. But the sheer exercise and, you know, this thing is pretty strenuous in a couple of places. I know I'm out of shape, and so it's a little rough for me. I handle it like a champ. Yeah, look at there. <laughs> yep. Didn't do a bad job. I carried a backpack. Yeah, she did actually. She carried the backpack. Full of shit. Yeah. Not literally, but. <laughs> Inhalers. My swimsuit I wore. There's my new rod. For those of you who haven't seen it, I haven't named it yet, but we'll see if something. Some kind of character emerges from this vehicle that inspires me. I think we should call it Delightful Destinations. <laughs> yeah. You're not just a little biased, are you? Nope, not at all. Because <laughs> if you think about it, Ron Sees America goes to Delightful Destinations. I actually do. You want to make sure that someone's with you in case there is an emergency. They'll be there to, uh, and we were lucky that this creek mostly had, uh, wife had a access to the cell. I don't know if you can tell, but top of that hill right there, just beyond it, you can see a cell tower. And so there is cell service out here in this, in most of this creek, uh, all the way to the, to the, uh, spring down there. So, uh, it's weak in a couple of places and crystal was live earlier and lost signal but we contended rather than having a stream blipping in and out on her her viewers that she, she would just we would just continue and finish this hike wow That was off the hook. I think it is an excellent time for a cool, fruity drink no. from the cooler. I'm not driving. I'm not letting you drive. I like you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, but you're not driving. Ooh. And here's the new ride. Yeah. Yep. There she is. My new ride. I love it so far. We're going to do a build soon. Y'all stay tuned for it. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> Actually, warm spring, not a hot spring. It's about an average of 90 to 96 degrees. But I highly suggest if you're in this area, check it out. Oh, and don't forget, I ride shotgun with Ron Sees America. That was good, Crystal.